Thanks, Tony. Now at 11, we have in-depth coverage of campaign 2012 and the race for Rhode Island's first congressional district. Tonight, Eyewitness News and the Providence Journal brought Democratic Congressman David Cicilline and Republican challenger Brendan Doherty together for the first televised debate. And you saw it live right here on WPRI 12. Cicilline and Doherty sparred over several issues of the Providence Performing Arts Center. We have live in-depth team coverage tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Tim White has analysis. To eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau with the highlights. No doubt these two candidates showed us there are a lot of differences between the two of them as they fought it out to go to Congress. David is so far to the left. He's there were classic differences on how to create jobs. This one on the Infrastructure Jobs and Energy Independence Act. Give out more leases, a big, big giveaway to big oil, and use whatever money is generated. Let me finish, please, Mr. Dark. That takes money from the ground and helps uh, stimulate our economy. He wants to take money out of people's pockets to uh, redistribute wealth. Challenger Doherty defended his support to strengthen Social Security several times. My mom's 85 years old. She relies on Social Security. And Medicare. I know how, how difficult it is for our seniors. Congressman Cicilline was the captain of that. He also accused the former mayor of sailing Providence right into its economic Providence. storm. This is not a coincidence. According to Cicilline, that and other attacks are distractions. Mr. Darty understands that if he talks about what he would actually do if he got to Washington, Rhode Island voters won't vote for him. Doherty countered, saying the one term congressman has no record to discuss. But he's 0 for 10 with the bills, and he still hasn't apologized for being intellectually dishonest to the people of the city of Providence. I regret the words that I used, and I was overly optimistic. But look, when I'm out traveling around the district, you know what people are worried about? We have 60,000 Rhode Islanders out of work. They went back and forth on how to spend your money, including this debate on Cicilline's support of the failed progressive budget proposal. What I call the oppressive budget. This is so far to the left. 77 Democrats voted for it. And 108 Democrats voted against it. It ends the war in Afghanistan. It strengthens and protects Social Security and Medicare. The congressman talks about bipartisanship. He can never come over to the center. I'm in the center standing here. This budget uh, makes investments in the things that are really important to Rhode Island. Plenty of time for more back and forth with three weeks to go until Election Day. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. Our recent exclusive Eyewitness News poll showed Congressman Cicilline with a six-point lead over Brendan Doherty. With just a few weeks until Election Day, we wanted to know how tonight's debate could impact the race. Eyewitness News reporter Tim White continues our in-depth campaign 2012 coverage with analysis. While there may be clear differences between Brendan Doherty and David Cicilline, our political analyst says tonight's debate said that he said there was no clear winner and there was this was no game changer for either candidate making america gender the american competitiveness i wouldn't say there was a clear victory in this debate after 90 minutes debating the issues eyewitness news political analyst joe fleming says while well, neither candidate had a bad night he gives the slight edge to incumbent congressman david cicilline he must have mentioned the republican house leadership at least 30 times in this debate, basically tying uh, Brendan Dowdy to the Republican House leadership. So he got his point across. The Congressman Fleming says Republican Brendan Doherty had some good moments calling Cicilline out. Brendan Dowdy never followed up on those points when he took some shots at him to keep those things going. And I thought he missed some opportunities when he talked about the city of Providence. He could have expanded upon that more to try to stress that issue. He's not as smooth of a debater as David Cicilline is. That stood out tonight. But again, keep in mind, you've got a seasoned politician, David Cicilline, and you have a first time politician. In Brendan Doherty. Despite that lack of debating experience, Fleming says Doherty was able to hold his own. Brendan Doherty, I think if you look at compared to how he was in Newsmakers last year to now, he's come leaps and bounds in his presentation. Our last exclusive poll shows uh, David Cicilline up by just six points over Brendan Doherty, but keep in mind 10% of those likely voters say they haven't made up their mind yet. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Tim White, Eyewitness News.